What up y'all, Square White here. If you're looking to buy an Indian Scout bobber, you've probably seen people mention it over and over online, but the stock saddle is basically a torture device. No questions asked, the first thing you need to upgrade on this bike is the saddle. A memory foam pillow duct taped to the battery cover would have been 10 times more comfortable. So how did I end up spending over a thousand dollars on saddles? Well, I started off with the Mother Roads Customs tractor seat. It's a Springer seat that comes with the new battery cover plate that actually was really comfy. The springs took care of the bumps that the short suspension travel couldn't quite handle, but they also ended up gouging the fender over time. But then I had the bolt securing the front of the saddle to the base snap off mid-ride. So I was basically at highway speeds riding one of those playground toys. It was scary as fuck in a 0 out of 10 experience. I definitely don't recommend doing that. So I had no other choice but to get a new saddle. Of course, I'm a millennial hipster, so instead of getting something reasonable like a nice Corbin saddle or a saddleman like most people, I went for style over substance. I picked up this Enz Koyo saddle called the Zuni for about 580 bucks. I feel like it really complements the flow of the tank into the rear fender. One of the things that I love about my bike is how all of these lines give the impression of speed even when it's parked, and this saddle is integral to that look. I also like how much lower and further back it sits you since I'm 6 foot 3 and need a lot of legroom. So while it looks really good, it was hard as a fucking rock when I got it. I even ordered the memory foam option but the leather was so stiff that it took a good month to break in. Even now that it's fully broken in, it's not a comfortable ride after about an hour and a half. I could just be a snowflake with a sensitive ass, but who knows. At this point, I've spent over a grand on saddles, and unless I hit the lottery, it looks like I'm gonna be riding around with a numb ass for the foreseeable future. In conclusion, which saddle you get depends a lot on what kind of riding you do. If you're looking into taking your bob route for a couple hundred miles or further on the weekends, I'd really suggest investing in a quality aftermarket saddle. If you want your bike to look good, post it up at your local coffee shop, or if you only ride short distances and are willing to sacrifice comfort for looks, then I can fully recommend the Enz Koyo Zuni saddle. Say that five times fast. If you have any suggestions for saddles, let me know in the comments below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.